All right, let me see. Uh, where where am I? Oh, I'm not here. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that should be this one. Yes, this is the one. Hi, how are you? Thank you again for being here. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Um, well, welcome uh, here to, to the channel. Um, the channel on the community is programming in Spanish, but no, it doesn't matter. We, we can speak English as well. Um, so, uh, hi, and thank you again for being here and, and to present what you are doing, what you are developing. It's a lot of interesting uh, stuff going on. And of course, the community is here attending to, to it as well. Uh, as we were uh, discussing before, the idea is for you to take control of the stream. Uh, you can make the presentation, you can show whatever you like uh, in the order that you like. And after the whole presentation, um, I will be reading the chat with any questions that the community may have. And I will be the translator here between uh, answers and questions. All right. So uh, if you like, um, uh, you can present yourself uh, what you are doing, uh, why are you here, why are you going to show us. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, um, first of all, I would like to introduce myself, then maybe Osman uh, will introduce himself as well. Uh, my name is Zahid Chufadar. Uh, I'm working as a project manager uh, at the uh, Pardus project. Uh, we are working for a public institution called um, Turkish Science and uh, Technological Resource, uh, Research uh, Council of Turkey. Uh, we are one of the uh, part of the this institution. Um, our main uh, aim is um, to migrate all the uh, public institutions, IT systems to uh, open source softwares. Uh, and uh, our main product is uh, a operating system, Debian based operating system called Parlus. Um, and uh, we are developing uh, some uh, sub projects uh, with the operating systems for uh, corporate usage. Um, that's what we are doing uh, as a summary. Um, that's all. Uh, Osman, uh, let's introduce yourself. Uh, hi, Pedro. <laughs> as you may know, my nickname is Mergin. Uh, some of you may know it. My real name is Osman. Osman Joshkun. I'm one of the core developers at Pardus. I just develop uh, uh, desktop applications. And I can answer the questions after the presentation. It depends on you. Awesome. Okay. Uh, thanks for this opportunity, Pedro. Um, uh, if it's okay, let's uh, start with the presentation. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, you have uh, permissions to share the screen and, and everything, right? Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I'm going to share it now. All right, let's go to the first slide. Uh, can you see the first slide? Yes. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we are a, we are working for a public institution called TÜBİTAK. It's an acronym uh, for uh, the name. And ULAKBİM is a National Academic Network and Information System Center. Uh, this is uh, widely known uh, at the Europe. Uh, every country has uh, this kind of institution for uh, national academic uh, studies. Uh, we are uh, our uh, one of the objectives uh, to establish is uh, supporting uh, academic world uh, for uh, making search at the IT side. Uh, we have uh, lots of um, high competing systems, uh, and uh, we we we. Um, how can I say? We are establishing the uh, university networks all over the country, uh, and uh, our department is uh, developing uh, Pardus. Pardus. Um, the name of Pardus is uh, actually a kind of a leopard, uh, which is uh, which was uh, widely lived in uh, Anatolian region, uh, and uh, it's uh, nearly extinction extinction uh, nowadays. Uh, there is around uh, a thousand one uh, living in the wild. 
so uh, and as you see in our logo, uh, this is the Pardus. Um, I don't know the community uh, is uh, aware uh, of the uh, open source software, so I don't know, uh, sorry. Uh, if you don't know, uh, I'm going to uh, talk about some uh, advantages uh, of Pardus uh, and it's also uh, lots of the uh, open source software has uh, this kind of uh, advantages. Uh, our um, our main uh, customer tar targeting customer uh, is uh, public sector actually. Um, there there are lots of end users also, uh, and the regular people can use uh, Pardus. Uh, but uh, our uh, main objective is um, uh, our main objective is uh, to make Pardus is the main uh, operating system for the public institutions. Uh, so um, I, I'm going to show you a, an open source um, report, open source research report, um, which is um, searching uh, why uh, the public institutions are using, uh, are they, why they prefer to use uh, open source of softwares. Uh, the first of is first of all, uh, the developing countries like uh, Turkey, Brazil, or uh, similar countries are. Um, aware of uh, cutting their expenses on the uh, on the corp on the software side um, in in our in lots of countries as Turkey like Turkey uh, we are not using uh, licensed uh, softwares uh, especially for Windows uh, lots most of the uh, most of people most of our uh, humans are. Uh, our people uh, cracks uh, cracks the windows and they use it illegally. Uh, but uh, at the corporate side and the public sector, uh, you have to pay for the license, and uh, this kind of license are mm, ha have a huge uh, size uh, in the total. Uh, and uh, the first objective is uh, for the public sector is uh, lower uh, these costs. Uh, and the Pardus is free, license free. We don't uh, charge any money for uh, public institutions or the regular people. Um, uh, and secondly, um, in the in the public sector, uh, especially in uh, at the developing countries, uh, the um, hardware for the PCs are not uh, very updated. Uh, most of the computers are. Um, uh, are about 10 years old maybe uh, and um, the uh, so um, the the operating system which is used on those computers uh, have to be lightweight uh, and uh, work fast uh, to uh, to done uh, the jobs uh, for the uh, for the people of Turkey so um, Pardus is uh, faster than Windows I guess I can say that um, and the uh, and the custom customer behaviors behaviors uh, user experience are very important for the um, end users and uh, these kind of operating systems. Uh, so uh, we have to design the UI and the uh, processes uh, to be used uh, easily um, and. Uh, we are Debian based. Uh, we we have very flexible for uh, special deployments for the institutions. Uh, we can customize uh, every side of the operating system, especially for the UI side, desktop environment. Um, we have different versions for uh, different needs. Uh, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, next slides um, and uh, the difference between the. Uh, Pure Debian, uh, so open, uh, pure Debian operating system, uh, and the Pardus is uh, we we are developing uh, softwares uh, for uh, for the uh, ease of use, uh, and we have multi language uh, support, um, <clears throat> and we have uh, the the operating system is not uh, capable of. Uh, uh, answering all the needs of the public institutions, uh, so uh, there are lots of uh, corporate needs uh, for um, all the whole the IT system. Uh, 
as for example uh, most of the public institutions are using uh, directory services like um, active directory and uh, corporate email services uh, like microsoft exchange uh, and um, we we want to um, we want to migrate those kind of uh, uh, it services to uh, open source uh, versions so um, we are developing, uh, first of all, I would like to talk about uh, the remote management, uh, which is similar like uh, Active Directory and uh, Microsoft SSCM. Uh, this, um, this software called Leader Aheng uh, is a server and agent uh, side uh, software, uh, which we can uh, manage uh, all, all the um, so open, uh, all the operating systems features uh, from a central uh, central uh, position um, for example um, there are lots of uh, schools in Turkey which has um, which has uh, wide screen uh, computers on the uh, classrooms uh, so uh, we can manage them uh, around uh, 2000 I guess uh, around 2000 uh, PCs with wide screens uh, from one center today um, and uh, other uh, kind of uh, public institutions has different needs uh, for example ministries or uh, hospitals has different needs and uh, we can um, uh, we can change uh, the features of this software uh, as the need of the public institution uh, and we have uh, identity management Called, called NGEREK. Uh, this is a midpoint software based uh, software. We are uh, developing some, uh, some other features uh, on it and we are integrating SSO services and CAS services uh, to this uh, IDM software. Uh, IDM software uh, is um, synchronizing all the uh, user data in the corporate uh, IT systems uh, and um, for example, um, a new employee starts to uh, working in the public institution. Um, if you don't have an IDM system, you have to um, you have to create uh, lots of uh, user accounts for email, uh, other uh, other uh, how can I say other document systems or uh, other corporate uh, softwares. Uh, and uh, every uh, every single individual uh, which is responsible for this software uh, have to uh, create these accounts. And if you have an IDM system like Engerek or Midpoint, uh, you you manage all these uh, accounts in uh, one screen. So uh, this is for um, huge uh, huge corporate or huge public institution institutions. Um, and uh, the one of the um, versions of Pardus is uh, for touch screens, which I mentioned uh, for schools. Um, this is a, a touch screen uh, version of Pardus. Um, teachers are using uh, this white screen uh, computers. Um, I mean, the white screen is uh, around, uh, I guess, um, 60, 60 inches. Um, and they are using it uh, for the black, like blackboard, uh, and uh, they can use uh, the PC features on it. They can uh, show some um, show some videos or uh, other educational stuff on this uh, screen, uh, and it's uh, all uh, Debian based, uh, GNOME based uh, Pardos. Um, and uh, one of the other products uh, I should mention uh, is uh, for cybersecurity. Uh, Octopod means octopus. Um, as you know, octopus has lots of arms. Um, and um, this differs from the other cybersecurity products uh, is the difference uh, between other cybersecurity products and Octopod is um, the Octopod is a centrally manageable uh, cybersecurity product. I'm, uh, for example, um, if you have uh, hundreds, uh, hundreds uh, different departments uh, around the country, for example, a military is, um, military institution, uh, you have uh, hundred uh, firewalls, you have hundred IDS systems, uh, and you have to manage it uh, with hundred people. Uh, 
uh, if you have octo octopus octopods, uh, you can manage it uh, in the central position. So um, octopod has uh, the mix of uh, different cyber open source cyber security projects uh, like uh, Wazoo uh, or uh, NF tables, uh, this kind of uh, cyber security products. Uh, Octopod manages uh, all these kind of um, products and it's modular, you can use uh, one part of it uh, or you can use all of it. Uh, it has some um, corporate versions, on-premise uh, versions with the hardware uh, or um, you can use it uh, at your uh, virtualization environment. Um, <clears throat> and we, uh, we um, as, as Tubitak, as our uh, um, one of the, our mission is uh, spreading the uh, open source softwares like LibreOffice uh, to uh, all the public institutions and uh, we are supporting LibreOffice uh, at the developer level. Uh, we have one developer uh, around two years ago in uh, our team uh, and after he uh, established a new company for himself and we support it uh, to contribute to LibreOffice uh, as well. Uh, let's give some details about our projects, um, especially ETAP uh, is widely used in our country. Uh, at the end of this year, uh, our uh, Minister of Education uh, have, uh, has um, around 460,000 uh, uh, pieces on the classrooms which has a wide screen, as, as I mentioned. Uh, and um, we have a contract with uh, the Minister of Education uh, that uh, aims to um, install all these, uh, all these pieces uh, with Pardus Etap, uh, touchable version of Pardus. Uh, it's a huge project. Uh, I think um, in a one public institution, uh, there is no, no other uh, alternative in the world uh, which has uh, this um, this hu this hugeness, this big uh, this number of uh, pieces which use uh, Linux systems, I guess. Um, and uh, for the Minister of Health, uh, is interested uh, our uh, product. Pardus and uh, other uh, products like Lidera Heng. Um, at the, uh, there's a um, there's a city called Bursa. Uh, is, I think it's the fourth biggest city in Turkey. Uh, has uh, 22 hospitals in the city, and all the all the hospital uh, hospitals are using Pardus on their computers. Uh, it's around uh, 50,000 computers uh, in the uh, whole city. Uh, and also, um, we uh, we work with uh, a national bank uh, in Turkey uh, called Zirat Katılım Bankası. It's a participation bank, which uh, ne which uh, early uh, which, which is uh, established around four years, I guess. Uh, and uh, their strategy is uh, is. Uh, they they want to use as much as uh, open source software in their IT uh, structure, uh, and uh, all it's uh, the, the the bank has uh, lots of um, departments around the, uh, Turkey, uh, and they are using uh, hundred percent part Pardus, uh, and nearly uh, seventy percent of their softwares are uh, open source. Uh, we have a contract with them as well. Uh, we are um, working with them. Uh, these are the projects. There are lots of uh, other uh, public institutions uh, which are using Pardus and open source softwares, like um, military uh, bases, uh, like uh, some um, some water distribution uh, institutions in Istanbul uh, and some. Um, Belediyeni Dosman ya some uh, small manageable parts in, in the city. Um, so uh, and uh, I want to um, underline uh, some strategy uh, in Turkey uh, at the 
July uh, 2023, um, our presidency, Turkish presidency, declared a, um, a document uh, to the public institutions, uh, which call, which orders uh, all these institutions to analyze their uh, IT systems, uh, which is um, available uh, to find out is it available to use open source softwares uh, in their IT structure. Uh, technically uh, and the financially, is it uh, suitable for them? Um, and um, at the May, uh, we are going to uh, we are going to analyze uh, this kind of uh, study. Uh, so uh, at the end of this study, uh, our government uh, is gonna um, decide uh, which uh, public inst institutions have to use which kind of open source softwares uh, and uh, they want to uh, see how much uh, they are they are their uh, expenses for the uh, for the uh, for the softwares they are using now uh, and uh, if, it's, if it's possible to migrate to the open source uh, versions uh, it's a huge uh, decision uh, and we are we are part of uh, we are supporting uh, the Turkish presidency uh, for this action. Um, I hope um, in five years in Turkey uh, we are going to use lots of uh, open source softwares in our public institutions. I hope. Um, yeah, uh, this slide is about uh, our uh, etap version. Uh, this is the touch screen version of. Uh, Pardus. Uh, as you see in this presentation, uh, this uh, UI uh, is one of the old, uh, old version of our uh, etap. Um, we work with the uh, UX companies and the teachers uh, to find out what is the uh, user experience, what is the uh, what the user wants to uh, at the at an operating system, touch screen operating system, and uh, at that time, uh, most of the teachers are uh, familiar with the left-hand side menus uh, because uh, they are sitting near the left side of the board. Um, they, they want to be um, reach uh, the menu uh, as easy as possible. Uh, and we designed it at the left side. Um, and today we have a different version of uh, touchscreen. It's GNOME-based. Uh, Debian uh, operating system, uh, which has similar like um, some tablet usage uh, and or uh, you want to uh, catch the uh, catch the trends on the uh, touch touch screen devices uh, as like as we can. Uh, and uh, nowadays we are working uh, the third version of uh, this uh, touch screen uh, version touch screen etap. Uh, it's go it's gonna be probably a cinnamon a desktop environment, uh, and we are now developing uh, some other uh, softwares uh, for this version, like um, parental control. So, uh, this this version has some uh, restriction modes for the uh, students, uh, which uh, teachers can um, can activate it or disable it, uh, or uh, we are uh, working. Some uh, drawing applications. Uh, we have one uh, now, but we are going to uh, improve it and uh, add some features on it. Uh, there are lots of applications for uh, the operating system. So um, I would like to uh, say it again: uh, the operating system itself is not able to uh, answer all the needs of the customer. You have to. Uh, build some applications or uh, side uh, side projects for it uh, for the customer needs. Uh, that's what we are doing now. And uh, I would I, I I forget to mention um, our leader um, uh, software is using uh, at uh, etap version uh, and um, we can send messages to the screen. Uh, we can do whatever. You Operating system in the in a UI, uh, and um, at the end of the day, uh, the Minister of Education is uh, 
is um, find some people uh, in the cities, schools, which can reach uh, our uh, UI, Lidera Hank UI, to manage uh, all all the uh, all these um, pieces in their school or in their cities. Uh, it has a huge volume. Uh, I want to mention it again. Uh, it's around. Uh, 650,000 pieces, uh, which uh, is now in the uh, classroom in Turkey, uh, and all of them will be part of the top. Awesome. So you have uh, everything centralized, right? I mean, uh, you can you can send a notification to all of the machines that that has uh, part is installed. For instance, no, not not now, not now. Uh, it's around. What is the idea, right? Two two hundred thousand uh, pieces in the schools are using uh, Pardus now. Okay. At the end of at the end of uh, two years, uh, by now, uh, all all the those pieces are using uh, will be using uh, Pardus Etap version. Awesome. I'm going to write it down. Maybe I can make mistakes. Can you see the chat? Yeah. Yeah. This is the volume of the pieces, okay. number of the pieces. Um, so, uh, I would like to talk about some uh, our community and uh, end users support th things. Uh, we have a knowledge base uh, which is working on uh, Confluence, which is uh, Atlassian product. Um, we, uh, we arrange lo mo the most uh, frequently asked questions uh, and some how-to documents uh, in this uh, page. Uh, it's public. Uh, you can uh, weave it with the, this uh, address, belge pardus orktere. Belge means documents. Um, Osman, do you have something to uh, say about this knowledge base? Uh, in uh, in belge pardus you can also weave a lot of things. For example, how to install things how to install applications, configuring them. For example, uh, some challenges between the um, hardwares because some of the network and Wi-Fi devices can be challenging, as you know, especially printers in Linux site. We have lots of how to do and how to configure things like this in this website. Currently, it's in Turkish, but uh, we can I don't know, maybe we can support other uh, languages <laughs> in a few years, maybe though, I don't know. Step by step, okay. step by step. <laughs> okay, I'm going to next slide. Um, and we have a help desk application, uh, which is uh, which can be reached from our um, homepage. Uh, and we are going to... Uh, develop it, uh, we are going to improve it. Uh, and there is some um, help desk application on the uh, ETAP version, uh, which uh, teachers uh, can send the, their, um, when they struggle to uh, solve something, uh, they can message us uh, problem with a screenshot uh, and uh, our team, our uh, call center uh, can um, help them. Uh, we have a call center which is working uh, at the um, the day daytime. Uh, we have uh, two personal. Uh, we have two employees uh, which is uh, dedicated for the call center. Uh, they are really uh, good at uh, Linux environments. Uh, they know uh, the most um, how to documents, uh, which Osman mentioned. Um, so, um, public institutions, generally public institutions uh, use this call center, uh, but uh, the regular people can uh, call them uh, also and they serve uh, people in Turkey. Uh, I don't know if uh, Windows has this kind of service uh, in, our, in your country or in Turkey. Um, probably not. And <laughs> probably not, yeah. <laughs> Um, and uh, we have a forum uh, which uh, our main community uh, here. Uh, there are lots of uh, subjects uh, 
they talk about. Uh, we have uh, some uh, beta groups, beta testing groups uh, in this forum. Uh, before uh, we, before we, yeah, in the establish before we uh, put uh, the new version of Pardus uh, online, uh, we sent the beta version uh, forum, uh, and the people uh, gives feedback about uh, the problems or uh, the things we have to improve. Uh, then we uh, establish the uh, main version. Um, yeah, uh, this is all Turkish, as you see. Uh, and um, before, uh, it, it's it's actually hard to uh, change the people's mind and change their uh, user behaviors. Uh, so, uh, if you want to uh, change all all the things at once, uh, the the users uh, have they they reject to uh, change their uh, user behaviors. For example, in uh, in my country, in Turkey, uh, the populations uh, has the employees are uh, uh, very old. Probably uh, the mean age is around 50, 55. So uh, they are not familiar with uh, technological changes. Uh, they know only Windows. They know only the software which they are using for for decades, maybe. Um, so. Um, we want to uh, manage this kind, this kind of people, and uh, s step by step, we want to um, change their uh, behaviors. Uh, and the um, ODF site and the LibreOffice is uh, one of the good steps for that. Um, and so, uh, as you know, uh, Windows uh, Office uh, has some own um, standards for its uh, software it's not open uh, open things um, so if you want to uh, you want to open a, a x uh, format file at the libreoffice or other open source uh, office applications uh, all the things change they shifts around uh, just because uh, the microsoft office has uh closed uh, codes so uh, and it has own standard uh, so um, document format uh, is going to change this uh, ap approach uh, we hope um, so we are promoting uh, open uh, document format to uh, our old public institutions as well uh, these slides are uh, Osman I guess uh, Osman, can you uh, introduce our uh, applications uh, for Pardus? Yes, of course. Let's go. So this is Pardus Software Center, uh, which is let users easily install, remove, update their applications through the package management system, which is APT. Or also they can use a command line tool. But this is way easier if you compare to other software centers you can also view comments uh, which users comment on applications on google on pardus website or any other platforms we also have some categories editor speaks etc and this is probably uh. way lighter than other software centers yeah, uh, and I would like to add something. Um, at the uh, public institutions, uh, we can uh, change uh, all the um, applications in the software center uh, with the uh, local repository. Uh, and um, sometimes uh, a public institution has uh, its own applications, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, they want to use specific applications in their environment so uh, we can uh, change this application for themselves uh, and they use uh, cust the customized version of uh, the software center at their infrastructure their uh, IT environment Osman and these are two different kind of greeters for each desktop environments, for example, the left one is Pardus Genome Greeter 
uh, in this application, as you can see, you can change the current style of the desktop environment, which is people are used to use before. For example, there is some Mac style, Ubuntu style, Windows 10, 11, and also we kind of have Pardo style, which is combining Windows and GNOME user behaviors. Also, there is some themes which you can choose between dark and light themes, some wallpapers, some display settings. Also, we have some pre-installed extensions. You can see and manage your uh, extensions and user experience. Also, there is an applications tab which you can also see some most used applications between uh, Linux users. So you can uh, just click on them and install via part of the software center. Also, there is some clock settings which you can choose like between GNOME or Windows style or maybe you can edit your own. Also, there is the last one is support. You can see some shortcuts applications, some phone numbers, email addresses and other support links. In the left side, we almost have the same pages like in GNOME, but this one is for only XFCE desktop environment, which is pre pretty exact, pretty same, I can say that. These are the greeters, so when you install the operating system, this application comes first, and you can do your own settings, you can, you can change the behavior of your desktop environment. These are the or general greeters. Um, in this page, you can see Pardus update. You don't have to use terminal for some uh, updating and upgrading system. This Pardus up update just do it for you. When you when your system booted and desktop is ready, this runs on the background and check check updates. If you have any, you can see the current applications. You can select between the applications if you would like to upgrade or not. At the right side, there is Pardus font manager. You can install font managers uh, easily before. Also, you can see and preview them before installing. When you add them, you can just uh, install these fonts in your user's home folder. Also, you can remove them in these applications. Also here, you don't have to worry about installing the dev packages. There are many ways to install some applica uh, application packages in Linux site. Um, you can use part of the software center, you can use APT, or you can just use our part of the package installer. All you have to do is open the package with this application and hitting install button. That's all. Also, there is part of Nightlight, uh, which is basically the same as Gnome Nightlight, but this one is for XFCE desktop environment because there is some applications, but this one is pretty easier. All you have to do is changing color temperatures depends on your needs. And you can choose opening or not, or at the startup, depends on you. Also here, we have Pardus Image Writer. All you have to do is choosing your ISO file. You can choose the method of writing image on your disk. You can also check this ISO if it's Pardus. This checks MD5 checksums. You don't need to Ventoy or any other image writer applications. This, this comes pre-installed, so you don't have to install after installation. And the right side, there is power, Pardus Power Manager. If you have laptop, this, this can save loss of power consumption because you can limit your uh, CPU uh, CPU frequency on battery mode, on power mode and also you can switch the power save you can stop charging battery approximately like 80% you can select screen brightness for example if you use your laptop for like on battery 2 hours or 3 hours with this power manager it can go up to like 6 or 7 hours. Depends on your settings. In here we have about this computer application. Uh, you can use, uh, you can see your desktops. 
um, almost all informations. You can see CPU, GPU, and other GPU if you have RAM. Oh, I mean, of course, if you have RAM. <laughs> but <laughs> how much? <laughs> yes. <laughs> how much RAM, physical RAM, and current usable RAM? Also, you you can learn your public address and local IP address, and their interfaces right right beside them. And the right side there is part of the Java installer, which you can choose the current Java versions. Which is always horrible to manage Java versions, so thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Also here we have part of the LightDM settings. If you use LightDM instead of GDM, especially in XFCE, this saves a lot. Because you can set lots of different options here. You can change the background of it. You can change like font size, scaling, like light DM, appearance and its behavior. It all depends on you. Also, you can remove the login button and you can, if you type your password correctly, it just automatically log in. Also, there is Pardos XFCE tweaks. This is only for XFCE. And it allows you to tweak uh, in your XFC desktop environment. It's more easier than uh, any other tweaker in XFC currently. And you can also download Pardos on our website. Here is the link. That's all. Also, uh, yeah, keep on, keep going. Also, thank you for your attention, and I mean, thank you for your attention throughout the presentation. What can I say? Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks. Thank okay. you. If you, have, if you have any questions, uh, we'd love to answer it. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I have some questions here on the chat. Uh, let me see. Let me scroll a little bit uh, up. Um, there is a question in, in several parts. Uh, first one is, um, I mean, the, the developers are curious actually about how, how everything works uh, inside, right? So the first question I have here is how many um, persons are in the company? Uh, how do you manage, uh, uh, for instance, um, the work daily in a daily basis? And uh, what method methodology, sorry, uh, do you use for different developers? I mean, do you use um, so much. I mean, how do you manage the teams, uh, the development teams, uh, you know, on a daily basis, basically? And how many developers do you have in the company? Uh, our team is uh, relatively small. Uh, we have 30 people. Um, some of them are developers. Some of them are uh, system administrators. Some of them project managers like me. Um, we have uh, we work pretty pretty agile. Uh, met we are working as with the uh, agile methodology. Uh, but um, uh, just because we are a, a relative uh, group, uh, our um, our organization is uh, between uh, matrix organization and some uh, organic. Uh, which means uh, everybody does uh, everything sometimes. Uh, for example, uh, as a project manager, I manage some projects sometimes. Uh, sometimes I support customers. Uh, sometimes uh, I work uh, for the financial things. Uh, sometimes I um, uh, write down documents uh, for the softwares. Um, and some developers. Uh, can write codes uh, most of the time, but uh, if if need, if a customer needs, uh, they support them at the uh, field sometimes. Uh, so um, uh, our organization is a little bit organic. I can say that. Awesome, awesome. And um, do you do you use uh, any any tools for at least for management uh, of the of the development? Uh, you mentioned that that you use agile methodologies. Um, what tool do you do you use to manage? Actually, I don't know if you if you divide the the weeks or, or months in sprints. Uh, and do you use something like Jira, Trello, or some other open source alternative yeah. for, for this? Nowadays we are using uh, Jira uh, for development and um, recently uh, we are 
for uh, uh, and uh, there is some uh, features for uh, agile methodology at uh, that software. Um, we are going to uh, we are searching new open source software just because the Atlassian uh, products are going to be uh, just only online, uh, just only cloud versions will be available soon. Um, so uh, we are looking for um, plain. There's a, a software called Plain, Plain. That's uh, so. Uh, it's the website of it. Um, it looks a very strong uh, software, and uh, nowadays we are uh, looking for it. Maybe uh, at the end of the year uh, we are going to we are start we are going to start uh, using that software probably. Awesome, awesome. I have another question, and it's about the the, the market actually the market difference. Um, the question is um, how is it. Um, how is it to work for a government uh, instead of, of, of a private company or a private client? I mean, how, uh, what does it change um, respectfully to, to a private development uh, project, for instance? Osman, can you answer this? Uh, how can I say that in <laughs> private companies, I worked on both of these. Uh, in private company and also in government. Private company is a bit challenging because there are lots of challenging things, especially if your project manager and other developers don't know anything about the project they are developing or creating anything because you have to teach them, you have to learn with them. And if they are not good as much as you or if they are not willing to learn the new features, you are already gone. You are just wasting your time. But since I started working at Pardos in the government side, I'm like, I all I see is lots of great people. They already know what they are doing. They are really great at their jobs. And, lo uh, and I learned so much things since I joined the team. And I can say everybody knows what they are doing. <laughs> Actually, uh, our institution is uh, very specialized on uh, research, uh, research and development. So uh, the employees are uh, very highly qualified. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I, I can say uh, our uh, employees are uh, more qualified than other public institutions at the technical side. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to um, apply a job uh, in our institution, uh, there is a formula uh, which has uh, uh, which contains your uh, university degree, uh, which uh, what's um, the exams, uh, which, how many years uh, experience do you have? Uh, you put this uh, on the uh, formula, and uh, if you uh, above the line, uh, you you you will be able to uh, attend the uh, meetings for the job. Uh, the interviews, just, the, the just, interviews. Yes, it's interviews. Yeah, interviews. Uh, and after that, they make some uh, exams for the uh, for the title for the uh, this job. I I, I can say. Um, so uh, working at the public sector is a little um, easy, I guess, uh, as Osma mentioned. Uh, I worked for uh, four years uh, before the, the Tubitak. Uh, it was very stressful. There, there is, there, there is always a pressure on you uh, as a technical person. Uh, I want to give you an example. Uh, we are uh, working on a digital media platform called Tivugu in Turkey, uh, which has uh, over a million customers. Uh, and we were uh, recording some uh, movie series uh, called Kurtlar Vadisi. It's very famous. It was very famous at that time in Turkey. Uh, everybody uh, watching it at the time, at the prime time. Uh, so. Uh, I, I made some mistake and uh, I couldn't record the uh, last one minute of the series. Uh, so uh, the other day, um, the CTO of the telecommunication, uh, <laughs> Turk Telecom, Turk Telecommunication uh, 
company uh, is uh, make some pressure and uh, he mailed me uh, it was very it was very hard to <laughs> yeah, face off to face uh, but in the public sector um, our managers are uh, very kind to um that's all i can say about that awesome, awesome. i like the the formula idea by the way <laughs> <laughs> like that. um let's see another question here um is there another uh, distribution or idea that could be uh taken as a competitor of of pardos directly or you have um like the i mean you are designed to basically cover all the of the public uh, infrastructure Uh, actually, we develop our versions uh, depends on the uh, customer. Uh, for example, we have education version version of the computer labs at the schools, uh, and some versions for the military. Um, we don't we don't want to compete uh, any local versions versions. Um, so that's all. Uh, We don't planning to uh, design new versions nowadays. Uh, we have already four, I guess, four different versions for different needs. Mm. So there, there are no other uh, distributions on the, um, at least on the on the public market, that they. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there are lots, there are some uh, private companies which has uh, some distributions, Linux distributions. Uh, and uh, we are working with them as well as public institutions projects. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, the one of the city of Turkey, Kayseri, uh, has a huge uh, hospitals called the city hospitals, uh, which is uh, built at the time of uh, pandemic. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe it has uh, more than five uh, thousand computers on the hospital uh they have uh, they develop their own distributions called kios uh and some uh, other company uh, in turkey has different uh, distributions uh for the different uh, customers uh we we don't compete with them uh we uh, we support them as well um that's all i can say and there is there is some um All team members of Pardus uh, has uh, their own uh, version of uh, Pardus called uh, what was it? Uh, Milis Milis Linux something something like yes. that. Yeah, uh, but we don't compete in Turkey. Awesome, awesome. That's really I, I like the the um, the uh, strategy. Let's say the the, disp- the perspective. Sorry, um, I like the perspective of, of collaboration um, between between different companies and and all the for, yeah. for actually making better the the all the whole public in- infrastructure because actually that's what makes mm-hmm. the whole infrastructure grow to good. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Um, let's see another question here. Um, This one is interesting. Um, do you develop new features based uh, only on requirements, or you are free also to actually decide what what you want to develop? I mean, how do you handle the both the um, the new requirements that comes from, for instance, any public um, uh, institution that uses uh, your distribution? Um, how do you handle the the priority between that and uh, a feature that you have? already on on you know on set like we have to make this feature but we also have a new requirement how we do we handle here the priority yeah actually uh, it depends on the customer relationships uh, sometimes customer uh, want uh, very ridiculous things uh, for <laughs> uh, ridiculous uh, softwares uh, so um, interesting softwares sometimes um, we decide to develop those kind of softwares if we can use it uh, at the other institutions as well. Uh, for example, uh, I mentioned at the presentation, um, the Minister of Education uh, wants a, a, a software for, it's, it's similar like uh, the parental control software, uh, which is uh, which can uh, block some features at the operating system or uh, block some websites to reach Uh, so uh, this need is uh, can be uh, applied on different 
institutions or uh, for regular people, regular usage. Um, and uh, sometimes um, we, we are going to uh, improve this software to uh, local, can be used locally at the uh, computer labs. So um, it's, it's kind of a small version of the uh, LIDAR, I think the um, remote management system, you know. Uh, so uh, we can handle uh, kind of uh, requests from the customers uh like the like this uh we decide with this kind of uh perspective uh and uh if you want if you want to do uh, uh development or uh we are going to uh, this development uh we are using our uh, application uh to tell this to the customers uh that's all i can say awesome awesome um, another another question. Actually, I, I believe this is the last one for now. Um, after making, well, this is this is more about uh, your free time as developers and of course as manager as well. Uh, after making a distribution and, and developing this this whole thing, which is awesome, um, do you do you also like to to do some things or develop some things on your free time, uh, or do you just take a rest and disconnect and, and do? Another thing, whatever. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. Osman, this is for you. <laughs> uh, besides work, in my free time, as you know, I'm generally here. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> or in some other open source project, Discord channels. We have another two ones. I try to help as much as I can that new people to learn programming and some challenging problems uh, in web development or full stack development especially in backend side or front end I mean it depends mm. I try to contribute as much as I can although I try to find some bugs in especially genome extensions which is generally we use something like dash to panel or arc menu these are some buggy ones because lots of users can be affected by this and I try to inspect their codes, try some challenging and different things with their settings and if I find one, find one I just report or I try to read some more codes from another open source project. These are the things that I do in my free time. Awesome, awesome. I, I like your free time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you, awesome. man. Um, all right. I believe we do not have any other questions. Let me switch rapidly to, to Spanish uh, for the community. A ver, gente, eh, ¿tienen alguna otra pregunta? ¿Tienen alguna otra cosilla por ahí eh, en cola? Eh, las, las respuestas, si no las entendieron, no se preocupen, que ahora eh, repaso yo las, las preguntas por aquí por el chat y se las voy respondiendo según lo que dijeron aquí, ¿vale? Uh, por si tienen alguna otra preguntilla, pues adelante. Si no, pues eh, voy a decirle aquí a, a Osman para que nos muestre cómo podemos colaborar en, en el proyecto. All right, so Osman, uh, you mentioned that that actually the community could actually um, make some contributions uh, to the distribution, of course, yes. uh, when uh, when they have some available time and and, uh, and of course through your your own guidelines. So uh, I'm not sure if you want to share with them uh, how will be the process of making a pull request, what we can help you with, and uh, so they can see. And of course, if anyone uh, gets um, excited by the idea, well, of course, you you will receive uh, at least my my pull request in the in the next days. Of course, I can show it to you. For now, we can accept the pull request for translations especially Spanish translations for our core applications such as Pardus Image Writer, Pardus About, Pardus About or any other Pardus applications. So I would like to show it to you how to do it. So just let me share my screen. Here. Yes, I'm All not right. sure if you can see my yeah. screen. Yeah. Nice. 
So we have some uh, various applications. For example, here is one of them. As you can see in these applications, there are lots of files. We have some special files which we use in our translations. These files are called PO files. Generally, they are stored in the main, I mean, the main parent directory, or I store them in in this data folder. As you can see, there is a PO fo PO folder. If you open this, you can see some. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. You can see there is a pardus genome greeter dot pod file, and also there is pt dot pol and tr dot po. This pt and tr dot po is special files. For example, this one is for Portuguese, and this one is for Turkish. But if we open this, for example, pardus genome greeter dot pod, you can see there is some informations at top of the lines but below that you can see there is a message id and there is welcome but in message string there is nothing but when we open turkish ones you will see almost the same one but in message string you can see their turkish meanings okay. for example in uh, if you would like to support pardos in our in your own language, for example, Spanish, all you have to do is clone in this repository. For example, I will clone this one using SSH. You can use any Git client you would like to, but I use just Git CLI. I will clone this repository now. Now you can open this PO files using any text editors you would like to use. For example, I assume that you would like to use uh, VS Code. So I will open this with VS Code. You assume well. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see here there is PO folder and all I have to do is copy in this pod file Control C and Control V there's a copy now all I have to do is renaming this to ES and deleting this T at the end of the file right. when I enter this one I can start to just translating this all I have to do is writing some meaning i mean whatever this means in spanish pardus genom greeter in your own language all you have to do is this and you can type whatever you want mm -hmm. and after that you just save this push to your own github repository and creating a pull request for example i will create a github repository for this one in my own GitHub account. Or, which is easier, let me just fork this project and pull that one. Now I'm gonna fork this one. Currently it's forking. It will only take a few seconds. All I have to do is now clone in this again. Sorry for my. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. Now I'm going to clone this again from my fork. Now I open this with VS Code. As you can see, there is now part of this genome greeter pod file. I copy, paste, changing this name to 
yes.to and I'm typing some Pardus Genom Hola, I guess. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Now I can see I have some changes. When I check this one with git status, you can see there is a new file. I add this one, I enter my comment messages. SPO. All I have to do is now pushing this to my fork. Now we have new file. When I check my GitHub, I refresh this page. As you can see, this already says this branch is one commit ahead of Pardos Pardos Genom Gritter. Hmm. Now you have to do is clicking contribute and opening pull request. As you can see, there is a new file. Now we are creating a new pull request. And now we are adding a title. This title means so much to us. For example, if this is a feature, just write a feed to dash to that and add some adding translation and Spanish, for example. Okay. Now you can hear, you can write a small description what you did and what have you done in this translation. For example, edit Spanish translation and create a new pull request. After created the after created this pull request, we just see and check if there are any bad words in it, if there is some problems, as you can see there are lots of things that might be as well. Mm. If there is no problem or everything is okay, we just merge this to our application and add your to contributing in translation section or of, or of applications. This is the all. Also, you can add your own codes. I mean, not on a translation. For example, if you have some, if you found some kind of bugs or things, you can also send pull request to us, but explaining us the problem. I mean, you have to explain us the problem so we can see what's wrong with it. And if we, uh, after we check that, if problem exists in our softwares, I mean, in our systems, we also just update this too. This is all I would like to show you. If you have any questions about this, yeah, I can actually, answer now. There is, there is one. Um, yes. On the chat, uh, they would like to know uh, if the distribution um, the is being used for basically Turkish Polish institutions. Um, what is the reason to support other languages? I mean, it's for which uh, other people in in other countries uh, to to the distribution to be available for. Or um, or for even uh, more nationalities inside Tur uh, Turkey to basically uh, being able to use the distribution as well, or both. Yes, that's a great question because we also aim to let people outside the governments and uh, public institutions. We would like them to use or new applications, for example. Uh, new ones for uh, I mean Pardos, USB creator, MH writer, I mean other greeters in XFCE and Genome desktop. For example, currently we are making a, a NVIDIA installer for NVIDIA graphics card. If you have, I mean, NVIDIA graphics card, that can be a bit challenging mm -hmm. while installing its drivers. For example, community would like to add this one. If there is anything that you can do about the NVIDIA graphics card that is a bit challenging for us to install the drivers. Uh, so we needed some kind of translations also because we would like to reach to other countries, peoples too, in our general applications uh, beside governmental needs. Mm. Awesome. 
Awesome. All right. Uh, from my side, uh, I really liked the uh, yeah, really complicated to have an NVIDIA in Linux. Yeah, I, I actually have to deal with it. You know, it's horrible. Um, I, I liked uh, a lot about the the security um, manners of, of the distribution and of course the touch screen support. It's awesome as well. And uh, for the UX that you have considered, um, you know, the teachers' uh, position in the in the desk. Um, near the, the screen uh, to actually um, make the UX, it's it's amazing. I mean, you consider every kind of detail that, that it's really important for, for end users, of, of course, for security, which is not a, a subject that, end, uh, that the end user actually um, takes on account until it's too late, basically. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I, I believe it's a great, great work. And um, and congratulations, by the way, because you have created uh, something really, really nice, and it looks really great. Um, so uh, I have a question: Do you need translations for all repos, or do you have a list of repos where we can contribute with? Actually, if there is a PO file in these repos, <laughs> we need them okay. because we would like to reach to lots of people. All right, so do you have a, a list of, of GitHub repositories so where we can uh, contribute or for now it's just this one? No, uh, there is all repos under uh, github.com slash pardos. Okay. You just uh, type this uh, on right, the right. chat. That, that, one, one, that one just was, um, was just an example. So, yes, uh, all right. definitely. Everything uh, under here or a lot of repos, yes. You have a lot of repos. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, also... Yeah. People can translate whichever applications they are feeling to or interest themselves. Awesome, awesome. Also, you can suggest some new softwares, ideas, or other things in our forum, in our Discord group. I mean, Discord channel. We can, I, I guess we can create, if you are interested, an English section for Discord group. So you can reach us, ask your questions, ask your requirements. If you would like to see any applications, then we can review them. If it's okay for our project managers, maybe we can do something. Or we can create an, another open source projects in weekends together here. <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course. Um, if you want to share uh, any any link or uh, any other thing in, in the in the Twitch or here in Discord, and I can send them to the community as well. Uh, but yeah, it looks uh, really interesting because if the community actually start using it or, or have any ideas for applications that might be useful, uh, yeah, the idea is to share them uh, with you so so you can consider the development. Uh, and of course, we already we also sorry uh, have uh, channels here, so you can contact us and, and, and propose uh, things, and we can consider them as well. I shared Discord channels links here in Twitch chat. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if there is anything else that you wish to share with the community, the uh, final message or, or idea that uh, you wish to to say to them. Uh, so the stream is yours. Go ahead. Currently, uh, I don't have anything. If Mr. Zahid, of um, course, if you I want to say something uh, for the developer. I'm not writing for a long time, but um, as, a, uh, as a developer, I uh, think is uh, if you uh, write some uh, software, if you code some soft softwares, and uh, the number of the uh, users uh, is very important for the developer. I mean, if you develop a software uh, which is uh, used uh, around uh, 650,000 uh, PCs, it's, it's very uh, satisfying thing for the developers. Uh, if you want to uh, feel this satisfaction, uh, you can contribute our uh, applications or if you have any uh, different ideas uh, about this kind of uh, softwares, uh, you can contact us, uh, please don't hesitate. It. Uh, we are open for uh, contribution, we are uh, open for uh, collaboration. 
Um, that's uh, I can say for the final word. Uh, and uh, uh, while you're speaking, uh, you mentioned about user experience thing. I have a fun story about that. Uh, while we are working uh, with the teachers uh, about the touch screen version, um, as you know, uh, at the screens uh, in the operating system, the closing button, the, the cross is at the uh, right top side of the, uh, the window. window. Yeah. Uh, yeah, window. Uh, and um, the uh, screen is uh, around uh, 60 inches and it's mounted on the wall. Um, at the first versions of our uh, system, uh, the shorter teachers ca ca cannot uh, close the uh, windows, uh, so we changed the uh, cross from the top uh, to the top of the windows. Um, and it's it's a different experience uh, for us. Uh, maybe uh, a fun story for the developer. Uh, I want to share it as well. Uh, thanks for this opportunity. Thank you very much. No, no, no, thank you. Thank you for, for being here. And of course, if you want to actually show, I don't know, a new version or um, new applications that you are adding to the distribution, or you have any other product that you wish to share with the whole community to, in order to open it for contribution, uh, you have here the channel, so you can come here uh, whenever you like. Thanks, Pedro. Thanks a lot. You are awesome, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, in here in the chat, uh, just say what a great job indeed. Uh, great, great distribution, great project. By the way, uh, I don't know how, how do you manage to, to support as many as as customers, as clients, and, and as computers. So, uh, great, great work. And uh, and thank you for the presentation and for being here. Um, so yeah, I won't take much of the time. So uh, as as I said. Anytime you wish, you can come here and we are more than open and more, you are more than welcome. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Nice with you. Uh, buenos noches. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, man. See you later. Good night. Good night.